Hey, this is Ryan from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to be tying a simple bait fish pattern that only uses three materials. We've got a fire hole eight, 801P in the vise, and we're using 100 denier white gel spun thread. You start your thread at the front of the hook, trim off your extra, and bring your thread to the back about where the barb would be. This is a barbless hook, but just before the hook starts to curve is where you want your thread to be. Then we're going to take... This is EP Game Change Blend. You can use SF fibers also if you want. Tie them in. So they're about, this whole fly is going to be about five inches long. So you want this to be about five inches from the eye of the hook. Tie it down. Bring your thread forward a little bit. And double this back. We're going to trim this fly at the end, but this kind of starts your taper if you have two different lengths of material here. Bring your thread back to where you tied it down. Come back forward about two-thirds of the way to the eye of the hook. And I like taking some super glue, some brushable super glue. And just cover that thread up with some glue so it doesn't come apart. Now we're going to take a 5 inch H2O bait fish brush. This is the natural color. Tie it in right where you stopped your thread. I'm going to do about three wraps of this, maybe a little more. And this is kind of like wrapping a, a marabou feather or hackle. You kind of want to fold it all back as you're bringing it around the hook. It, it's going to look kind of messy until we comb it out when we're done. that down, trim off your extra, and I like taking a comb now and get all those trapped fibers combed out. Try and make it kind of even on both sides of the hook. You can kind of clean up the front of this with your thread. All right, so now we're going to take about four strands of crinkle mirror flash. I'm going to tie them in four on each side. Make it about the same length as the tail. Or about the same length as the overall length of your fly, I guess I should say. Bring that forward, fold this around the hook. And then I like trimming these kind of at all different lengths. Gives your fly a little more taper, I think. Perfect. So now we're going to take a two inch bait fish brush. Same brush as this, just shorter and a different color. Tie it in. And bring your thread all the way up to the eye. And you're going to do about three wraps of this one as well. Only three and a half just to get that filled in. Tie it off. We'll do about two or three good wraps to make sure that's tied down well. And then trim it off. And kind of fold everything back. Sometimes there's a little wire sticking out from where you trim that brush. You can fold that down and kind of cover it up with your shred. And then you can do a whip finish. All right, so we'll take our comb one more time. Make sure we don't have any trapped fibers in here anywhere. They're kind of going for like a flat bait fish shape, so I kind of pull everything to the top and bottom of the hook. And then you're going to take a pair of scissors, and the trick here is to not trim the, the flash off. So you kind of 
So if you trim the top of the fly, kind of pull the flash towards the bottom just so it's out of your way. And if you trim a couple pieces off, it isn't a big deal. But these long, these are a five inch pair of loon scissors are really helpful for trimming these, these longer flies and getting a nice smooth cut. Kind of go for like a long taper at the back just to get that nice bait fish shape. Do the same thing on the bottom. For the bottom, I kind of just trim it right along where the, the bend of the hook is. Kind of trim the sides of the front just to flatten it up so you get that nice bait fish shape. So take this out of the vise and trim the bottom here. Sometimes your flash can get a little long too. You can shorten that up here if you feel like it needs to be a little bit shorter. All right, you can be kind of meticulous about trimming these, but as long as you have a rough, rough shape, you can always come back and clean them up later. Perfect. And then we're going to put some eyes on, so I trim a little flat spot on each side where your eyes are going to go. And we're going to use a 7 millimeter living eye on this, but you can adjust that based on the size of your fly or size of your hook. I'll take some Loon, not Loon, Loctite gel super glue. A little dab on there. Just the eye on. Sometimes I'll take the end of my scissors to kind of push it, push it on there so it kind of gets the glue into the material a little bit more. Do the other side. side came off. Now once you get those eyes on there, you sometimes will get a few stray fibers that get pushed to a little different spot. You can trim off if you want. Perfect. So fly's pretty much done. We're just going to take some Solar as Flex and cover around where these eyes go just so they don't fall off. I kind of go all the way around and get like the forward third of the eyes covered in the resin too so it kind of holds them to the hook a little better. Perfect. And that's it. Really easy bait fish pattern. You can tie it in a number of different sizes, but this kind of five inch one-aught size is a good all-around bass pike fly. So tie a few up. Thanks for watching.